same plug, same features, one costs three times more. Why does Lutron's Outdoor Smart Plug sell for about $85 in Caseta, but nearly $265 in Radio Raw 3 when they work exactly the same? Stick around and I'll show you why the price gap might actually be the smallest difference. Smart lighting can mean a lot of things. The best definition I've seen is that a smart lighting system uses network connected light bulbs, switches, dimmers, or fixtures that could be controlled and automated beyond a traditional on off wall switch. Smart lighting provides dimming, scheduling, voice control, and even full home automation. And when it comes to smart lighting, Lutron is one of the most respected names in the industry. Founded in 1961, Lutron has a long history of innovation. In fact, their founder invented the first solid state dimmer. Today, their residential products range from simple DIY dimmers all the way to high end, professionally installed luxury systems. Lutron is a private family owned business so they don't answer to Wall Street or greedy private equity investors. In addition to home lighting, Lutron is one of the largest providers of commercial and industrial lighting systems too. Last but not least, Lutron is known for exceptional engineering, product support, and great customer service. I'll get right to the point. In my opinion, no company does smart lighting better than Lutron. Just to be clear, this is not an advertisement or sponsored video. Lutron has not paid me to make this video and hasn't seen any of the contents. And between you and me, I bet they will be none too happy with some of what I'm saying in just a bit. So Lutron's got systems for every level, from the consumer-friendly Caseta all the way up to luxury Radio Raw 3 and ultra-luxury Homeworks. But that's also the problem. Lutron makes so many different systems it can be overwhelming. Where do you even start? Instead of diving into all the technical details, rattling off lists of tech specs, features, model numbers, product variations, and more, I've got a fresh approach I hope you will appreciate. For the majority of consumers, including the clients I work with, the choice is between two product lines, the mass market affordable Lutron Coseta and the mid market some might say luxury system, Lutron Radio Raw 3. So from here on, I'm going to compare Caseta versus Radio Raw 3 from the perspective of solving a straightforward lighting problem, controlling outdoor lights. Now this isn't the most important problem, and it certainly isn't the first thing most people think of when they say they want to add some smart lighting. So bear with me, as I use this somewhat contrived example, as I, pardon the pun, shed some light on the differences between these two popular Lutron lighting systems. The Lutron Outdoor Smart Plug is the perfect product to focus on as it is one of the few Lutron smart lighting products available in both Caseta and RAW 3 versions. These outdoor smart plugs are so similar you have to look really close to see which one is for Caseta and which one is the RAW 3 version. Same design, same physical package, same on-off control function. Time to answer the big question. Why does the Caseta version sell for around $85 while the RAW 3 version is closer to $265? Let's dig in. So what is Lutron Caseta? Lutron Caseta is Lutron's consumer-focused smart lighting system. Caseta is affordable and widely available, sized for single-family homes or apartments, can be DIY installed, and easy to configure with a smartphone. It's compatible with Apple Home, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and SmartThings. It's perfect for basic automations, scenes, and schedules, and it's sold everywhere. In summary, it's designed to be simple, approachable, and DIY friendly. Now, what is Lutron RAW 3? RAW 3 is Lutron's professional grade system. It's aimed at larger homes and luxury properties. Unlike Caseta, 
you can't just buy raw three at your local store. It's only sold through dealers and installers. Some of the key differences. Raw 3 requires professional installation, though consumers can self-certify with the appropriate training. It uses Lutron Designer software on a Windows PC for setup. It supports advanced automation, logic, and scheduling, and it integrates with high-end luxury systems like Josh.ai, Crestron, Control4, Nice, and others. Where Caseta is simple and consumer-friendly, Raw 3 is powerful, flexible, and scalable, but much harder to set up. So let's look at the device I'm focusing on, the Outdoor Smart Plug. Now, both versions are identical in shape and size. They're a weatherproof, cigar-shaped dongle with AC cords on each end. There's an on-off only button, no dimming controls, and it's built with the same Lutron proprietary Clear Connect Type A wireless technology. Stop guessing between Lutron Caseta and RAW 3. I'll guide you one on one so you can avoid costly mistakes and get the right setup. Use the link for details. What about the installation itself? Installing the Caseta Outdoor Smart Plug is really straightforward. Using the iOS app from Lutron, I log into the system and I see a display of the current setup. I click on the gear icon in the upper left. I click on the add device option, which is at the top of the list. The app will prepare to add a new device and then ask me to select the type of Lutron device I want to add. About three quarters of the way down on the screen, is the outdoor smart plug. I'll go ahead and select that and I get a summary information page explaining that I need to hold down the button on the device itself until it starts blinking quickly and then proceed from there. I'll go over to the device and do that and when I return to the app it has detected the device and now asks me to select which room the device is located. Here I'm going to select the predefined room called exterior and now Lutron is asking me to specify what type of light and it gives examples of many common types of light. There's also an other category and I'm going to use that and I'll click next in the upper right hand corner. Now I'll give the outdoor smart plug a name. Right now I'm simply calling it outdoor smart plug. I can rename it later and I'm going to select the little icon of a power plug and click next in the upper right hand corner. It's now adding the device into the Lutron Caseta system. Lutron finishes the setup and brings me right to the room display called exterior and you can see the outdoor smart plug is installed and the icon is colored indicating it's turned on. So I'm all set. I can directly control the Outdoor Smart Plug from the Lutron app by clicking on the name of the device, which is simply Outdoor Smart Plug in this case. It will bring up a card showing the name of the device, the current state, offer on, and two buttons that allow me to turn the device on or off. And that's it. With RAW 3, you'll need the Lutron Designer software on Windows plus a RAW 3 authorized login. We're at the Windows desktop. I'm running the Lutron Designer Windows program. This brings up the primary interface for designing and configuring the Lutron RAW 3 lighting control system. I'm loading a saved project configuration. It's stored in the Lutron cloud, so it gets synchronized between the cloud and the local program. This provides a cloud copy for backup and restore, which is very convenient. You can see the progress bar at the bottom of the screen while it's loading. Now it's done and all the project information is loaded. The program is divided into major sections with tabs to select them across the top. I'm going to show you briefly the design area for adding and configuring a new device and then activate and transfer to get that device running. For this example, the device we want to add is the Lutron Outdoor Smart Plug Switch. On the left is the layout 
of the project, which includes all the rooms and areas for the home, I'll drill down into the appropriate section, and then I'll add the smart outdoor switch on the right-hand panel. To do that, I'll just browse the library of Lutron devices, switch into the section for dimmers and switches, and there and here is the Lutron Outdoor Smart Plug. I'll click on the plus and add it to the project, and I'll just go ahead and give it a name and a zone, and we'll be all set. It's been added. In this case, there's no other options to set, so we're all set, and we can go ahead and actually activate the device. I'll go into the Activate section to activate this device. Activation is physically pairing it and connecting it to the network processor so it's recognized. In the activation section, I select the type of device I want to activate. In this case, I'm not activating another processor. I just want to activate a wireless device. You can see that I have a lot of devices already configured. To make it easier, I'll click here to show only unactivated devices. So let me select the smart plug for activation and start the activation process. This puts the device physically into activation mode where it's ready to be paired to the system. In the left-hand panel, it lists the device with some brief instructions. Here, I have to walk physically to the device itself and push the square button on the center of it for six seconds to activate it. Let me go ahead and do that. That makes a communication link between the device itself and the processor. The indicator light started flashing rapidly, and you can see here in the left-hand panel that it's reporting the device has been heard and is communicating. The final step is to go over in the right-hand column under Action and click on Activate to confirm the activation. Now we're all done for the activation phase, and the system is prompting us that it needs a transfer of the configuration to the system. I'm going into the transfer section and initiating a final upload of the entire configuration into the processor. Now that everything is complete, I can exit the program and use the new device I just installed. For a quick demonstration of the RAW 3 outdoor smart plug, I use the same Lutron app that I use for Lutron Caseta. I'll start the Lutron app and it brings up my RAW 3 system. You can see the color scheme is slightly different than before and it has a list of all the rooms and areas and it has the gear in the upper left. But here the device has already been added and configured using Lutron Designer on a Windows PC. I'll go to the outside area and to the landscape lights group and here you can see the outdoor smart plug is defined and I haven't bothered to change the icon from the default, so it's showing it as a light bulb, but it's a smart plug. I just click on the name of the device, and it brings up the control card as before, showing the name of the device, the current status, and two buttons to turn it on or off. Are you enjoying this video? By clicking on the like button, you tell YouTube what content to show you. Help me help you, and click the like button now. I'm going to show you now the smartphone interface for both the RAW 3 version and the Caseta version side by side so you can see how similar they really are. To recap, physically the devices are plug and play and it couldn't be easier. Plug one end into your outdoor AC receptacle, plug the other end into the outdoor lights, water fountain, or anything else, and you're done. Once configured and installed in the respective system, Lutron Caseta or RAW 3, both smart plugs work the same way. You can control them with the physical button on the device, from your phone, add them to schedules, or include them in scenes. There's no special features or hidden extras that RAW 3 unlocks for this device. The only difference is the ecosystem it lives in, but the system installation experience as you've seen, couldn't be more different. Now, this is a worst case example. The other lighting control products that may look similar between Caseta and RAW 3 have significant differences. To be candid, that is what makes choosing between systems a bit easier sometimes. Want LED light strips that dim down to 1% and have adjustable white color balance from 1800 Kelvin to 4000 Kelvin? Then you need RAW 3. Do you like the Lutron Diva Smart Touch Control in-wall dimmers, but want more advanced touch control and the ability to use physical keypads? 
with backlit buttons and LED indicators, then you'll want RAW 3 Sonata dimmers and keypads instead. Want more than 75 total devices? Want wireless range to cover multiple floors and even multiple outbuildings like a pool house, shed, or barn? Then you need RAW 3 with its multiple processors and signal repeaters. So why the huge gap in pricing? Why is the RAW 3 version three times more expensive than Caseta? The quick answer? You're not paying for the smart plug, you're paying for the ecosystem. Caseta is a mass market line designed for everyday consumers. It's simple, approachable, and affordable enough to cover most homes without breaking the bank. RAW 3, on the other hand, sits in the professional luxury tier. Everything about it, from the hardware design to the dealer network, is intentionally built around exclusivity, advanced capability, and a higher-end experience. Naturally, that positioning comes with a much steeper price tag. A typical Caseta setup with a handful of dimmers, switches, lamp modules, and Pico remotes might cost a few hundred dollars, stretching to a couple thousand for a large home. A RAW 3 system, though, is a whole other scale. With dimmers, physical keypads, processors, and integration gear, the hardware alone can run from a few thousand dollars to well over $50,000 for a large home or estate. And that's before design, installation, and professional programming, which often adds significantly more. So trying to judge Lutron Caseta against RAW 3 on the basis of nearly identical outdoor smart plugs is like comparing a Volkswagen and a Lamborghini by looking only at the windshield wipers. Sure, the Lambo's wipers probably cost 10 times more than the VW's, but that isn't the real difference between the two vehicles. Before you pick up a smart plug, indoor or outdoor, pause and think about the bigger picture. What kind of smart home do you actually want? Do you just need a simple set it and forget it solution for a few lights or lamps? Or are you looking to build a scalable whole home automation system that can eventually manage everything from lightings to shade to heating and cooling. Ask yourself how you want to approach it too. Do you like rolling up your sleeves, saving money, and tinkering with the tech yourself? Or would you rather have a professional turnkey system designed, installed, and supported by a trained dealer? Something you can just rely on without touching a thing. There's no wrong answer, only the wrong product for the path you choose. Once you're clear on your approach, picking the right system becomes much easier. So what do you think? Is it Lutron Caseta, Radio Raw 3, or something else for your smart home lighting? Let me know your feedback in the comments below. I read all feedback and try to reply to as many as I can. Want the full breakdown of Lutron Caseta? From the latest devices to key features that matter for your setup? Watch this video next.